explain when we're going to be done with all the rain, please. Oh, my no goodness. More it's extreme humidity as in rain. I know. You know, <laughs> the only thing is, like, I do have a slight chance for showers on Monday, and it does look like more rain next week. <laughs> so, uh, I'm done, too. I'm done, too. <laughs> I've put in a letter to say, hey, we want nicer weather. But, you know, spring came and went, and we're still dealing with the rain. So, here you go. There's the storm. There's the associated cold front. Cold front today, storm system tomorrow. So, two rounds of this system. The good news is, is we're not going to be dealing with as much rain as we saw with the last three storms. This is not an atmospheric river, but it is going to be impacting us as we head through the day today, mainly lunchtime today. As we look at pinpoint out there live, pretty dry, maybe a few sprinkles up near Camp Pendleton, but most of it's not going to arrive until mid morning, lasting until the early afternoon. So a winter weather advisory, not for today. It begins at midnight because snow levels very high today. Tomorrow they'll drop tonight into tomorrow, and that's when we're going to see two to nine inches of snow from Mount Laguna, Palomar, Lookout Mountain, the Julian Ranchita area. Area, you're going to be kind of right on the cusp of those snow levels. We could see a dusting maybe up to an inch. Also some gusty wind. So in addition to the winds that we're going to be feeling through tomorrow, starting at noon today, we have a wind advisory for the mountains and deserts. Peak gusts up to 55 miles per hour. Most areas will see the gusts in that 35 to about or 25 to about 40 mile per hour range. Coast and valleys also pretty breezy to gusty today and tomorrow, but winds generally less than 30 miles per hour. So between 9, 10 o'clock, the rain will start. That's when it's going to be most widespread through lunchtime through about 2 or 3 o'clock, maybe even lingering to 4 o'clock, starts along the coast and spreads inland. Then transitioning to the later afternoon and evening, we're actually going to see some sun breaks coming through, but periods of rain will continue into tomorrow, especially in the morning. The morning tomorrow, we are going to be dealing with areas that could be having heavy rainfall and then snow impacting travel in the mountain area. So look for school delays or school cancellations in the mountain communities tomorrow due to that snow. 1.30, we'll be playing baseball. At least our Padres will be. There is a possibility, even though you see all the rain up here, that doesn't mean that it couldn't actually be farther to the south. So don't pay too much attention to where the rain is at this time. On our future cast model, just pay attention to we're still dealing with isolated showers. It does taper off through the game. By the evening commute, things will actually be drying out. Rainfall totals, quarter of an inch to an inch and a half from the coast to the mountain areas. Deserts, less than a quarter of an inch, not a ton of rain in the deserts. Snow, mostly tomorrow in the mountain areas, two to nine inches. Those gusty winds I already mentioned. And tomorrow there's a slight chance for thunderstorms. It's a very, very slim chance for any thunderstorms. But of course, if a thunderstorm forms near Petco Park, they are going to delay the game. I don't think we're going to have enough rain to see a rain delay for rain, but thunderstorms, that is going to be a little bit, a little bit more likely. It's going to be cold though. If you're heading out to opening day or you're just going to be outdoors today, bundle up 50s for highs today and tomorrow for the coast and valley areas. We dry out Friday, really nice this weekend. In fact, back close to 70 degrees by Saturday inland. The mountain area snow levels drop to 4,000 feet tomorrow. That does mean Julian could see a little bit, Ranchita as well. Highs in the 30s. Back in the 50s by the weekend, there's that slight chance for some sprinkles, some drizzle on Monday. Monday. And then again, it does look like we may see rain, more rain by the end of next week, maybe impacting Easter weekend and the desert areas. Not a lot of rain, but some gusty winds and chillier tomorrow in the 60s.